the clock. Yeah. You can move a mountain, you can break rocks. You can be a master, don't wait for luck. Dedicate yourself and you go find yourself. Standing in the Hall of Fame. Hey guys, what's going on? Jim Game here with another episode that is episode number 15 of this Pokemon Fire Red Speed Run. In the last episode, we took care of Blaine's gym and also checked out 1, 2, and 3 islands and the Civi Island chain, I believe it's called. So in this episode, as you see, I am in front of a gym here. I did a decent amount of off-screen training, which I'll show you the level ups and the moves in just a moment. I also beat all the trainers inside the gym besides the gym leader. If you played this game, then you probably know who this gym leader is. Though if you remember earlier in the game, we actually were in Viridian City, and that was like our second town that we were in, and there was no one in the gym. It was all locked up and everything, so now the gym leader has returned, and I'll leave that a little surprise for you guys that haven't played this or anything, but you probably do know. So we'll find out in just a moment who that gym leader is, though. Before we enter, let's check out our level ups here. So everyone except for Cedra is level 45. And when I talked to the guy inside, he said that it was a ground type gym leader primarily, so that's why I leveled up Cedra one more than everyone else. And those smokescreen, toxic, surf, and blizzard. Surf probably going to be our main weapon in this whole entire gym. Then we have Hitmonchan, who knows Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, Ice Punch, and Brick Break. All pretty much very similar moves, same damage, just different types and their own effects. So now we have Jolteon level 45, and knows Shockwave, Hyper Beam, Dig, and Return. Then we have Parasect, level 45 again, knows Aerial Ace, Leech Life, Poison Powder, and Bullet Seed. And from there we have, lastly, our Arcanine, level 45, and knows Fire Blast, newly acquired from Blaine's Gym, Secret Power, Dig, and Takedown. Now, I think I replaced this in training, I forget, off screen, though I wasn't a huge fan of Hyper Beam, as you see that Jolteon knows that move also though Jolteon's a little more of a special attacker anyway so hopefully this should benefit us it also has a little higher accuracy a lot more PP and it also does not have to recharge so with that guys we will enter this gym and hopefully we can beat this gym leader without too much of a sweat ground type is actually a pretty easy type to beat surprised that that will be the last gym and we'll find out just in a minute who this leader is and does that look familiar to you guys well, it is Giovanni, if that's who you're thinking. It is Giovanni. The Team Rocket boss is also the 8th gym leader of this game. So now we look at our trainer card, and there you see we have 7 badges from all the gym leaders. We have Brock, Misty, Lieutenant Surge, Erica, uh, Koga, and then from there we also got, what's her name, the Psychic Gym Leader, uh, Sabrina, and then we got Blaine. Surprised that I could name all those off the top of my head, honestly. So now we'll get that last gym badge in that little 8 slot that's missing a badge right in a moment. Hopefully we can beat this gym without fainting. So we will talk to Giovanni here. Fwahahaha, <laughs> welcome to my hideout. I just want to note, I think the last gym leader also started out by saying ha, so that's a little, you know, something you might want to note there. <laughs> it shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again. So be it. This time I'm not holding back. Once more you shall face Giovanni the greatest trainer. So it is us, Juniper Gaming. And I forget what I named my trainer, honestly. Against leader Giovanni. I'm not sure if I named him JG or Ash or Josh. I don't know. So he will send out his Rhyhorn level 45. That's pretty much all our Pokemon's level except for the Seedra. And we are going to get and use a Surf. I think it's just ground type. Maybe rock type also. But I definitely know it's ground type. So it's on yellow, red, dead. So super effective. That will take care of the Rhyhorn. And now how many do we have left after this Rhyhorn? Doug Trio, we're going to keep him in. And he has four more Pokemon. And this Doug Trio is only level 42. So pretty easy here. So far we're just cruising through this. I mean, we're only like 20 seconds into the battle. And we're just cruising right now. Already like halfway done with his whole entire party here. As you can send out a Nido Queen, we're going to keep this going with our Seedra, and we will try to take this down. Level 44. If I remember in Heart Gold in that event, Nido Queen was his best Pokemon, I think, so that's even lower than his Rhyhorn. I don't know who his best Pokemon is, maybe a Rhydon. I don't know, but this game doesn't really have a lot of ground types. Even I mean, it does have some, but not a whole lot to be your last gym leader. 
So it's going to send out a Nido King. Maybe this is his best Pokemon. I don't know. This will be level 45, so matches our level. We're going to throw out another Surf. And this is kind of cheap. I got to say, this is not exactly a great team for this Rocket Leader, a.k.a. the last Gym Leader. So we're going to take care of the Nido King. And now Seedra will grow, uh, grow another level. Now it's two levels ahead of all the other Pokemon. You see it'll boost some stats there. And now it's going to send another Rhyhorn. Is that seriously its best Pokemon, a Rhyhorn? Yes, it is. Okay, level 50, that's a little high, though. Really? A Rhyhorn? That's a little shocking to me. Not a great Pokemon. Should have evolved into a Rhydon by then. And we'll just take that down really easy. That's a little disappointing. I was hoping for a little more of a challenge. We just breezed through that. We didn't even get touched. The only thing that happened is uh, we lost uh, PP. Who cares? Anyway, huh. That was truly intense fight. You have won. Okay, obviously. And we are going to get the Earth Badge. I gotta say, that was really just terrible. Maybe it was because that's the first gym of, uh, that's the first gym next to your town. I don't know. It's supposed to be an easy type or something? I don't know. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without any question. Is evident is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. Also, take this TM. Consider it a gift. Okay. Uh, hopefully, it's Earthquake. Cool. I like that move. I definitely like that move a lot. A lot of Pokemon can learn it, I hope. Uh, that's what I think from what I remember. And let's see. We're going to go ahead and try to teach this move. I love that move. I also realized that they have a ground type gym leader in him. And then they also have a rock type gym leader with Brock, so the first and last gyms. But they're similar types, so that's a little disappointing. And wow, I thought that a lot of Pokemon can learn Earthquake. Alright, but we'll teach you to our Hitmonchan here, and we are going to delete... I think that Ice Punch will be the least useful for us. I really like this move, uh, Earthquake. So... Yeah, I think I'm going to delete Ice Punch. I think that'll be the least useful for us. They're all very similar moves, so it's tough to really delete one of them. So we are going to forget the move Ice Punch. We are going to set the TM Earthquake. I was hoping maybe our Arcanine could learn it, or even our Jolteon, though sadly it will be a no. So now we are going to walk out of here. Maybe we'll have a rival battle. I don't know, honestly, um, what's going to happen with that. So I'm going to walk out here, and oh yeah, there's no room for the rival out there. <laughs> Pretty funny. Alright, so now we are going to restore, and after this episode, well, I mean the last episode is also live commentary though, because we have a lot of big things coming up. There's only going to be a few more episodes, one for Victory Road, one for each Elite Four member, and then for the Champion. I'm probably not going to go too deep into the story after that, maybe not at all, just because I want to get started with some other things, though this has been really fun so far. So... Yeah, next episode going to be a live commentary, probably going to be uploaded very shortly after this episode has been posted, because I'm probably going to do it right after this, and it'll be a live commentary, even though it is Victory Road. So I'm probably going to also stock up on... Can they give me some... Uh, no, they don't have a lot. I was going to say I'm going to go get some max repels here. So while I do that, I'm going to uh, finish this off now. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully you have been joining this series. It's probably only going to be 20 parts long if my if my plan is going to be what it is. And hopefully we can move on to a new series. So, wait a second. All right, only, really? Only super repels? All right, I'll get some max repels off screen, I guess. I'll start walking, I guess. All right, so thank you for watching, guys. Until the next episode, stay tuned. And this is Juniper Gaming. I'm out. Day when you're